John, what's the theory of this Fed? Well, it's clearly shifting to do whatever, it, and it's a shift that's been in process for a while, to do whatever it can to support the labor market, to support minority and underprivileged groups within the labor market that have suffered higher unemployment rates over the years and paying less attention and increasingly less attention to price stability. I mean, the good news is inflation is low, um, but, but I think the, the bad news is it, it puts too much onus on the Fed when, as we know from what happened in the second quarter, fiscal action, a timely fiscal action, is much more important for stabilizing the real side of the economy. What is the statistic that you have in your head over how much this stimulus should be right now? I mean, everyone says the Republicans are undershooting at $1 trillion. Maybe the Democrats are at $3 trillion. Do you have a number in your head over the next year where the fiscal stimulus is going? Could it be $5 trillion? Well, I don't have a number because I don't know how the virus is going to play out, and I don't know how the um, medical response is, particularly a vaccine and the timing of the vaccine is going to play out. But we need a fiscal bridge and a monetary bridge across the chasm in economic activity. Now, the economy has rebounded very nicely in May and June, and we'll find out later this week about how July began. But the, the, it looks like the pace of improvement has significantly flattened out. Uh, and you pointed out um, earlier uh, in the show uh, about my former center fielder when I was at the New York Fed, uh, Hitman Harris, Ethan Harris. Um, and uh, I agree with him. The number could be a million, but we wouldn't be surprised by a negative print in, in terms of some of the things that we see. So if there's uncertainty about what happened last month, given the data that we have on July, it's impossible to know how the next six to nine months are going to play out. My guess is that by the end of this year, we will still have a substantial amount of unemployment, perhaps an 8 9 percent, maybe higher unemployment rate. Uh, and that's a lot of people who are unemployed through no fault of their own. I think the good news is, in the short run, uh, and it's something we've been pointing out, that the income support was, a, a, was such that it more than replaced the lost wage income in total. So there is a savings cushion, and we estimate that savings cushion through the second quarter to be an additional savings of $925 billion. So it's not a, it, it, it's not a shock. Uh, it's a problem for many households. But in total, it, it's not going to be quite the shock that some people's calculations suggest. But I certainly think we need uh, to extend some form of uh, uh, extended unemployment benefits here.